Hey, welcome today's, to today's quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how you can get a list of who you, what plugins you're referencing from your, from your plugin and what plugins reference you. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of use uh, some plugins that, uh, that ship right within Lotus Notes. And if you go to your plugins tab, um, you can see here there's uh, 1,523 plugins uh, in this installation. And I'm going to show you one of the plugins that I uh, helped write, which was the Property Broker. But let's make sure we all understand um, what the platform means. So if you go into Preferences under Plugin Development, Target Platform, you'll see what the Eclipse uh, platform is pointing to um, for what binaries are present within your development environment for you know that you can code against. And you can see here I've set up the Lotus Notes platform. Uh, it's pointing to these two directories and those are the, all the plugins that uh, you can see over here um, in the 1523. So let's get started. Uh, what you can do is you could just simply right click on the plugin name and you can open up its dependencies. So this means that the Property Broker plugin includes classes and packages from all of these other bundles. Um, so if you ever wanted to extract the Property Broker from, for instance, Lotus Notes or Lotus Expediter, you would have to include these other plugins in your installation otherwise the property broker uh, may not load it may not work correctly uh, etc uh, and you can also uh, find who's calling into you and you can see this is a much bigger list now the interesting thing about this is this tells me if I was to ever change a property broker API these are potentially all of the other plugins in the current installation that could break so this is where you have to follow proper deprecation um, standards and uh, communicate out your changes uh, to those other areas. So that's pretty much it. And you can get to that right from um, the right click menu also. So you can say find resources. And you can pretty much do this for any plugin uh, in your installation, uh, right down to uh, basic clips plugins, um, you know some of the symphony editors collaboration same time plugins so if you ever have a question of hey you know if I wanted this particular feature out of the client in my own product um, you know what would I have to bring in uh, in order for this to to work correctly and that's pretty much it thank you very much bye